Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to run HTML code in Visual Studio Code on any browser. So first thing that you'll do is come to this extension tab and click on it. And over here in the search bar, you are going to type live server. So you'll see the first option that says live server appearing over here and you will click on the install button. All right. And you can see that it has been installed. So what is a live server? Live server is an extension in Visual Studio Code and is a popular tool that allows you to instantly see changes made to your HTML, CSS and JavaScript files. And uh, these changes are instantly reflected in a browser window without manually refreshing the page. It's a really productive tool if you are into web development. All right. But before we run our HTML code, what do you need to do? You need to click on this settings icon and then click on settings. Now you need to click on this icon over here. This is going to open settings.json and within settings.json, you are going to write within double quotes live server dot settings dot advanced custom browser cmd line okay and then in front of it you are going to write a colon and within double quotes you are going to write chrome all right so what we are doing here in settings.json we are setting the default browser as chrome for uh, live server so when we run the html code automatically the code is going to run on google chrome now you are free to put firefox over here if you want your HTML code to directly run in Mozilla Firefox or Safari if you use that browser. I'm going to stick to Chrome only. So let me change it. And then over here, you are going to press Command S to save settings.json. Now you are going to close all these tabs over here. And now what we are going to do, we are going to open a project folder in which we are going to create an HTML file. So let's do that. So we are going to click on file and then go to open folder. Now I want this folder to be created on my desktop. So I'm going to click on new folder over here and let me write HTML underscore VS code. Then I'm going to click on create and there you go. My folder is created. I'm going to open it in Visual Studio code. Now, since my folder HTML underscore VS code is already opened in Visual Studio code, I'm going to click on this icon over here to create a new file. I'm going to name it index.html. All right. Now over here, we are going to write some HTML code. The amazing thing in Visual Studio code is that when you type exclamatory mark and hit enter, it automatically writes basic HTML code for you. So we are going to change the title over here. Let the title be Joey's Tech and within body, within H1 tag, let's write subscribe to Joey's Tech. And please do that if you are liking this video and hit that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, then you are surely not going to miss out on the tutorial videos that I create for you. All right. It's done. Let me give another tag over here, which is H2 and write thanks for watching. Okay. Now, there are two ways to run this HTML code. Number one, come over here, come in the corner over here. You see this go live, you either click on it or just right click on index.html and click on open with live server. Let's do that. If I click on it, all right, all right, you can see the web page already started on localhost. It says index.html and it says subscribe to Joey's Day. Thanks for watching. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to run HTML code on Visual Studio Code in Google Chrome or any other browser from this video of Joey's Day. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself. And if you want to bring the live server down, then just click over here and that's it. It is going to display the message server is now offline.